Right everyone, here we are at Viaduct Fisheries. Um, I'm fishing at the very back of Carey Lake today. Um, the people on the other side of the lake are having loads of fish. They've had three in the time we've been here. Um, I'm here with Casper again, like last session. Um, this is just day off school, so we decided to come out and have a quick day. Um, I've only fished this fishery once or twice, and I've had a 13 pounder from Spring Lake over there. Um, but today we are going to try and catch some, just fish in the margins. I might cast one out in the middle, I'll show you the swim in a sec, but it doesn't actually show the peg number, does it? Nah. But um, yeah, let's get the rod set up. Right everyone, bait of choice today is the mainline quads pop-up hook baits, essential cell. And I'm using small hook baits here because anything counts. So they're literally square shaped pop-ups. You've got yellow, pink, um, white, all the all the different colours and I reckon these will work well in the margins just with a bit of um, foam on the hook as per usual just so that we can assure our rigs are sitting properly. I'll show you what rig I'm using. This is the rig I'm using everyone so I think this is a 3 ounce lead, I don't think it says actually. I can't really tell by looking at it and I'm just using a size, what's that, size 6 wide gape barbless because I think this is a barbless fishery, I'm not too sure though. Um, and then there's my thingy. About five inches of boom. Obviously we've got the protective braid. And let's get this baited up and then let's get them out as quick as we can. Right everyone, so I've just put the rods out. I'm getting quite a bit of action like where my rod is at the moment. I'm seeing quite a few swirls around it. Um, I put one out towards the tree over there and one just out mid water. Right everyone, so in terms of stock for this lake, I'm not sure what they've got, but I think they've got various small fish, like match species like roach, bream, rudd. Um, don't know if there's crucians in here or not, but um, there is carp up to high 20s I believe. There, there is 30s, but I'm not sure. It hasn't been confirmed yet. Um, I don't know whether it was a run that I just had or not. It might have been a swan, but I picked it up and nothing was on there and it bent right round and that was over near the tree. Well, I switched from there because when I pulled it up it was covered in reed. Um, but yeah, that's basically what's been happening so far. Uh, nothing much. Uh, I've only had the rods out, what, 10 minutes, so I'm not expecting much yet. Um, a 23 got pulled out of here the other day, so I do know there is 20s in here. Um, but where I was casting my rod now, there has been a little bit of activity like straight in front of where I am so I just put it straight out and I'm fishing with um, foam obviously because don't want to get caught up in all the crap that's on the bottom. I'm seeing a lot of bubbles around my spot actually. Right guys so here I've got the Ridge Monkey Bait Tower. This is absolutely awesome look all of these different compartments come out and you've got like orange in this one, white in this one, whitey orange. Oh and it just smells magnificent look at that guys. Look at them pop-ups, absolutely magnificent. Um, if I open up this pocket, it's another surprise. Ooh, don't know what they are, but that's that's a surprise. So obviously these baits don't come with the Ridge, Mon Ridge Monkey Bait Tower, but look in there we've got like yellow and white. I'm gonna throw one of these out eventually, like a wafter, dumbbell wafter. Um, cool, look at that one, that's plugged nicely. And then, if you want to, you can just go like that. Which is absolutely amazing. Right guys, so the time is now quarter to 12. Still nothing on my side, um, other than that little bit of drop back earlier. Casper had um, a 16 pounder and we didn't weigh the other one, but um, he had two carp and it was double take. He had one off the surface and one on the bottom. Um, I'm fishing these doubled up, so I'm fishing two like that. Oh. Fishing two like that on the hook bait, and I'm fishing two like. Oopsie. Two like that, kind of the same little snowman rig type of stuff. Um, I did have a tug on it as soon as I put it out, like a proper tug, and it pulled right down and then just shot my hook. Well, I have no idea. The fish might just not be over my side of the lake today, but. I'm going to stick to what's seeming to be working so far, which is what's giving me bites and I'm going to 
hope for a current. Guys, so it's really raining now. I was over there. That's where the brolly was. We ran down here with the brolly. Casper's rods are there now. Mine are there in the mine. Same margin he's in. I'm fishing the same bait he's on. As you can see, it's just horrendous weather. And my tripod's a bit wet, as you can see. All my stuff's in there. Oh, it's a wet session. Look at that movie. Look at that umbrella. Not looking too healthy. Right, everyone. The time is half two. I've caught nothing, I'm now heading back up to the shop to get a coffee. Right guys, I was beginning to give up hope, and then randomly I switched over to an 18mm essential cell pop-up on the Ronnie Rig. And at £16, Right everyone, so um, this is the one that just caught me at 16 pounder, literally huge essential cell pop up, yellow pop up, literally, what's that, 31 gram lead, 5 inches boom, you can see how to make this rig on my channel as well, but that's all that caught it then, simple as, simple as carp rig, I was literally come back from getting my tea, which is here, which is now cooled down a bit. And um, <laughs> and I heard, and I casted out my rod, I come back to do the other rig, and then I heard that my drag peeling off, and I thought, that isn't right, come over there, and my alarm wasn't working. Um, but I think it was just not detecting it or something, and it was screaming as well, it would have been screaming, so. I've got three. Yeah. Lucky I have, um, it's lucky I have good drag, really, that I can hear, that goes click, 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 otherwise I would have been in trouble then. But um, I'm going to stick it out again, that one, and my other one's already out now. Um, hoping to get it. It was only about rod lengths off, 12 foot off the bank. So I'm hoping to get another one. Let's get this other rod back out. Right guys, on the essential cell again. This one's a bit well, more well behaved. There you go. Right everyone, so... As you can just see, I've just had that second fish. Didn't weigh it, it wasn't big enough to weigh. If we think it's going to be anything over 20, we'll weigh it. Um, that's 16 pound I'm chuffed with, and this is what I've been catching them on. So, mainline balance wafters essential cell. There you go. Um, I'll show you what colour, because I believe there's two colours in it, unless I've just accidentally mixed them. They smell the same, but this is what I've been using, and this is what's been catching down at Bio the other day. It's been pretty great, to be honest. The, oh, I actually found out these are 15 mil as well. They're not 18 mil, just they look similar. And I kind of had a wild guess, but they are 15 mil, just so you know, and they work well down here. Literally half an hour after not catching for the whole day, I've had two fish just like that. Um, but yeah, um, I put both my rods back out on the same exact rig, same exact bait and everything, and I'm gonna hope for another one now. Um, I'm leaving here by about half five, I think, and now it's probably about quarter past three or half three or so. Um, so yeah, let's hope for another bite and I'll hope for another bite. Mm, check back with you later. Right guys, 15 mil essential cell. Main line doing the business again. There you go everyone. Beautiful fish. Linear fisheries. No, not linear fisheries. Why did I say linear? <laughs> the viaduct fisheries is awesome guys. I'll be coming back here again. Right everyone, so Casper's just had a breathe and it flew out the water, it was absolutely hilarious. It just jumped out the water and went like three foot high. But I'm um, now, I'm heading to the toilet. I'm gonna use their facilities. I did have a tea earlier, a brilliant tea. Couldn't have made it better. Nothing better than a tea on a bank, and especially when you're not old enough to have a kettle on the bank or fire. That's a great thing to do. But yeah, that's basically what I'm gonna do now. I reel my rods in. And I'll be back out in a sec. This is Lodge Lake here. There's a fellow down there earlier. I don't know if he's still here, but he had um, a fair few. No, he isn't. He was over that bush over there. We'll walk past it in a second. But this is Lodge Lake. Um, I believe one of them over there is Spring Lake. 
Um, let me see, Middle Lake, and um, yeah, Middle Lake. I think that's the lodge that I'm not too sure. I did just look at the map, but I um didn't really recall much. I'm trying to get back to the umbrella because it's um absolutely winging it down, I guess you could say. He's on over the, oh no, he hasn't cast him. Um, I don't know what these are. I think these might be overflows. Uh, they might be stock ponds. I have no idea, but um, they're pretty cool. They remind me of the canal down Revels, the um, place we fished not too long ago. But yeah, there's some anglers over there, as you can see. Pretty good fishery. There you go, guys. Main line of Central Cell 15 mil again. Hello. So, um, there's been nothing after that 20, and it's only been five minutes, what, ten minutes. Yeah, ten minutes. Um, and I had that little one as well. Hello. So it's been nothing since then. Um, I just threw the rods back out. I'm hoping. Oh, Jesus! Almost knocked over the truck. I'm hoping for another one. I'm going to change the bait in a sec, freshen it up, although the main line does seem to be keeping its flavour as it's been in the water for so long. I've had like four fish now, innit? Right guys, I'm going to bring in my rods and, um, oh, I'm going to I'm going to bring in my rods and change the bait, freshen it up. Same bait though, main line, essential cell, 15 millers. Let's get it. Right guys, rods are out and near the bivvy. Let's go and get this done. Right guys, so it's been about half an hour, 45 minutes since the last fish. Um, we're gonna begin packing up soon, 10 more minutes and then we'll get one, get them back in. Just had a run, in fact, um, on this rod. It was just, I cast it right back on the same spot so hopefully it'll come back round. But well, it just bounced and then it screamed off and when I struck into it there was nothing there. Um, it might be blunt hooks, but I doubt it really is because of, because you know, I only put them rigs are basically brand new. Um, Casper's just had one, a little common, um, in the first, last 10 minutes of really being at Viaduct Fishery. Um, lovely place. Yeah, it is a lovely place. We'll be coming back here again, hopefully. 